Well, it's pretty clear that the Broncos right now are the cream of the crop in the NFL. I mean, definitely trending upward. You've got all of Peyton's receivers healthy. The defense is playing great, especially with the pass rush, uh, putting pressure on opposing quarterbacks with Von Miller and DeMarcus Ware. The improved secondary, certainly a bonus as well. But what does that mean two months from now? Absolutely nothing when the playoffs start, because I don't know about you, but I've always found two types of teams that I look to ride come the postseason. Those that start off fast, kind of hit a lull, and then start trending upward again as the playoffs approach, or those that have just been fair to Midland all through the regular season, and then they catch fire at the end, and you ride that momentum into the postseason. So what does it mean right now, going into the last weeks of October? absolutely nothing. But last night it met a good cover, and that's all that really mattered, because Scott Delaney, the first ever 200 dime play of his career, and he's a charter member of the site over 11 years, uh, on the Broncos, it was a 200 dime play. Of course, I also had the Broncos last night, so no complaints about Denver's performance versus the Chargers last evening. Listen, today, guys, we've got three college football games. Two of them I'm going to give you free picks on, as I'm going to break, well, actually, there's four college games, isn't there? But who really cares about that? Troy State, whoever the the hell they're playing game. I mean, I looked at that on the schedule. And I said, is this a Division 1A school team playing here tonight? Uh, I'm going to break down two of your games for you. First one is going to be uh, the contest between BYU and Boise, which I think is pretty fascinating. And then I'll take a look at the late game between Oregon and California as well. Listen, the big featured play today and the heavily discounted play as well is uh, Matt Rivers. Uh, his third ever blank check wave the rating college game of his career. Uh, he, like Delaney, like myself, of course, charter members of this site over 11 years going. Third ever blank check, wave the, wave, wave the, say that three times quickly. Go ahead, I dare you. Wave the rating uh, game. It's South Florida and Cincinnati. It matches his second ever college wave the rating play. Remember, last Saturday, West Virginia, an 8.5 point underdog at home, winning outright over Baylor, 41-27. to And, of course, he has hit all three of his NFL blank checkers. They've all come in the past seven weeks, the most recent two being the Broncos smacking around San Fran last Sunday night and the Eagles shutting out the Giants two Sunday nights ago. In fact, he has had five blank check plays, one in college, uh, two in the NFL and uh, two in baseball here this month of October. He's won them all. You've got them at all at over half price off. And the same thing goes for today as you get the blank check play from Matt Rivers and save in the process um, $70 off the purchase price by using coupon code AGAIN, A-G-A-I-N. It's that easy. Again, A-G-A-I-N. Um, FYI, if you happen to have a package with me, I'm on the same side as DeMarco tonight. Or DeMarco. Yeah, I'm on DeMarco. Same side as uh, Matt Rivers this evening. I got distracted. There's a UPS truck pulling up here in the neighborhood, and I hear it's so noisy right now. Uh, anyway, uh, I am on the same side as Rivers, and for me, it's another 10-dime play, which matches last night's winner on the Broncos. And with these 10-dime releases, I'm on a 26-10 and 10 roll over the past couple of months. So if you have mine, you already know what Matt is on here this evening. Uh, a couple of other guys, uh, quick congratulations going out to Jeff Benton. Yesterday, you got his 50-dime uh, winner, number six in a row, with Miami, Florida, taking care of business. And you got that play, I think, for like $22, saving $77 off the regular price. Listen, uh, back to Delaney, non-conference total of the year, BYU and Boise as he goes for winning day number nine out of 13. Uh, the over-under for that, you can get it for $9, save $90 off the regular price by using coupon code SCOTT9. Uh, late night bailout, Oregon, California. Uh, Chris Jordan, it's a 400-star play, okay? It's his seventh, he's going for his seventh consecutive winning day. You can save $75. You get it for just $24 using the coupon code bailout, B A L. B-A-I-L-O-U-T. I should just start this report all over again. It's just going right downhill. Um, listen, he uh, hit his 400-star Pac-12 game of the month, part number one, last Saturday with Arizona State over uh, Stanford. Had a 400-star play on the Broncos last night, so this play is just as strong as them as he goes for winning day number seven in a row, something you might want to consider uh, after you win the early game, let's say, <laughs> with Cincinnati and South Florida, which I hope you win because that means I will win too. Um, and... Uh, uh, that game goes, of course, at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And, of course, uh, today is the last day. You know the charity play of the week one. 
a couple of days ago. Brad Wilkson provided a free winner. After a charity play wins, I allow you the opportunity to pick any handicapper at the site and save $125 off any 30-day handicappers package by using coupon code SAVE125 or save $50 using any of the uh, handicappers here seven-day packages by using coupon code SAVE50. There's also a $5 play. There's a bunch of other promos. Just check out the homepage. I'm tired of this. Let's get to the free picks, okay? Last night, I took a split with the free picks. I <laughs> cautiously warned you. It's not like East Carolina can go out and say, hey, we're going to score 56 points and win by and cover a 28-point spread, and obviously they did not against Connecticut. Miami, Florida, though, an easy win against Virginia Tech. And, you know, this Virginia Tech program, it just seems like it's treading water here in recent years. And you got to wonder, is it time for a change? Oh, I know Frank Beamer has been tremendous. I know Bud Foster's defense has been tremendous. But this team has been unable to do anything consistently offensively for years. And listen, it's nice to have a good defense, blah, blah, blah. But if you can't put some points on the board in college football nowadays, how are you going to win? So anyway, tonight, let's start with the late game first. Oregon is a 17.5 point favorite, which is kind of surprising. They were an 18.5 point favorite when I handicapped the game yesterday. Uh, this game is being played at Levi Stadium in San Francisco. That's 49ers uh, home field. Of course, where Oregon really wants to be on this field is a couple of months from now, because this is where they're going to have the Pac-12 championship. Uh, I like the way Oregon has rebounded uh, after losing that Thursday night game a couple of weeks ago at home to Arizona. Um, one of the keys is that their offensive line has been providing much better support. They're getting a strong ground game as well. Yes, they're running the ball. Uh, matter of fact, Royce Freeman, 290 yards rushing the last two games for the Ducks, which have been both wins. Uh, last week at home, Washington, they beat 31 one to seven. Keep in mind, Washington, that's the same team I'm going to talk about in a minute that just went to California. And they also uh, took care of business at UCLA. It was a, uh, a closer final than the final score really indicated, but they really rolled over UCLA. Uh, the Bruins got like three touchdowns in the um, fourth quarter in garbage time. Now, California is coming off a 36-34 loss to UCLA at home. The week before that, they lost to that same Washington Huskies team, 31-7. In Pac-12 play, uh, in five Pac-12 games, they have allowed a minimum of 31 points in each of them. They got the worst defense in the Pac-12. Now, they had been outscoring guys early in the season, but I think if this is going to be a score fest, I would much rather lay the points with a more diversified Oregon team that has won and covered the last three in the series, okay? And they've won those games by an average final score of 52 to 16. And in each one of those games, they've been laying 24 points or more. And this line has come down from 18 and a half to 17 and a half points. I'd go with Oregon. Okay, BYU, Boise State. Boise State, big time revenge here, of course, uh, as a seven point home chalk. Uh, last year, uh, BYU was a seven point favorite, won uh, 37 to 20 in Provo. Um, BYU obviously has problems. Uh, when Taysom Hill went out in that loss to Utah State three weeks, uh, three weeks ago, that started a three-game losing streak for the Cougars in this contest. They subsequently not only lost that game at home to Utah State, they went to Central Florida, lost 31-24, to and uh, they also lost at home to Nevada last week, 42-35. to The defense has totally, totally collapsed. They failed to cover in their last five games in this series. Now they're going to go into Boise, where the Broncos are itching for revenge. Uh, 22nd in the nation, Boise State is in total offense, averaging 485 yards a game, but it doesn't often translate into a lot of points on the board. Uh, 25th passing attack in the nation at 291 yards a game. And I think that's an important statistic because BYU's pass defense has been scorched. Last five games, again, all five games they haven't covered, they're giving up an average of 315 yards a game uh, in the uh, air. Jamal Williams, um, their top running back. He only had one carry the past couple of games as he's been bothered by a high ankle sprain. Now he's expo expected to play tonight, but you got to wonder how efficient and how good is he going to be. Now, uh, Boise didn't even come close to covering like a 17 or 18 point number last Friday night in a home win against Fresno, 37 to 27, which was kind of surprising since Fresno had just uh, blown its previous game uh, in overtime at Nevada, Las Vegas. But I think here with revenge, I would go ahead. I would play Boise State. Obviously, if your line is seven or seven and a half, I would naturally buy down the half point in this particular state, uh, situation. So again, I'm going to go with both favorites, uh, one at home, Boise State, one on the road, that being Oregon. And that'll do it for today's report. Best of luck to you guys. And I will catch you again on Saturday morning.